everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we're going to be making a custom using Flash Sentry here and the custom that we're going to be making is for the Bubbler from the Miraculous Ladybug so the Bubbler is the first villain in Miraculous Ladybug and he is super super cool so the first thing we're going to do is remove the hair because we won't be needing it at all so first we're going to wrap a piece of flat clay around his head and we're going to smooth it down around his face so that it looks seamless then we're going to make it a little bit pointy on top. We're going to attach a bubble droplet on top. Next, we're going to paint his face blue. And this is really, really cool because his face is a dark navy blue. Then we're going to paint in the mask. So these are just two black spots on his face around his eyes. Then we're going to draw in his eyes using white. And then we're going to dot it with brown. That's so cool, huh? Then we're going to add some additional details to his face. And also give him a little smile with the black. Next, we're going to paint his head red. So this is really cool. So he has a blue face with a red head. <laughs> I really love the Miraculous Ladybug villains because they're all so unique. Next, we're going to use strips of clay and wrap them around the body. I'm going to be using Applejack's body. And I'm using Applejack's body because I have extra bodies lying around and I wanted to save Flash Sentry's body for a male custom. So I'm going to attach these round balls of clay to the body and hopefully they stay round because I want them to have that bubble look. And then once that's done, I'm going to paint it uh, in three colors. So the first color is red. And the second color for a bubbler is blue. And the third color is yellow. And lastly, we're going to paint the rest of the body black. We're going to draw a gray circle on his chest. On top of it, we're going to draw a white circle and then a black circle. And finally, for his accessories, we're going to make his bubble container. So using a piece of clay, I'm going to wrap it around the handle of a paintbrush. Once it's dry, we're going to paint it with blue, black, red, black, and then the rest of it, yellow. Alright everyone, so here is my completed bubbler from Miraculous Ladybug. What do you guys think of him? He was actually quite a challenge to make just because of all the round shapes. Getting the round shapes on his arms and also on his legs was actually quite hard. So I wasn't able to put the clay around his legs because it will make it too big. So what I did was just color in the colors as stripes. So here's a closer look of his face and I think it looks pretty interesting. That is a very strange villain's face. I do like this bubble on top of his head though. I think that looks super cool. So I added these tubes to his body. These are just um, cable tie uh, that's kind of twisted in and glued to his body. And I did also make a bubbler so this actually works. So you can actually dip it in there and blow bubbles from it. So that is kind of cool I think. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my bubbler. And if you guys like these custom videos, make sure to check out my other ones too. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! 
Hi everyone, welcome to Evie Toy House. So we're going to be making a Miraculous Ladybug custom today. We're going to be making Nino. So Nino is Adrian's best friend and he is a very cool character. He is very smart and a lot of fun. And he also becomes the bubbler when he becomes akumatized. Alright, so we're going to be using Flash Sentry. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is take off his hair. We're going to take off the front part of his hair here. And then for the back, we're actually going to cut off just half of it. So I'm going to trim it all the way across here and take that off because we're going to be building his hat right on top. Now we're going to fill in the gaps in his head. And then using a round lump of clay, I'm going to make the top of the hat. So I'm going to round it out a little bit so that it fits over his head. And with the largest strip of clay, I'm going to start building his hat. So this one goes all the way around. Now we're going to blend it so that it's seamless. Then with the flat piece of clay, I'm going to make the front flap. Next, we're going to cover the paint first with a layer of white. Now we're going to paint his face a flesh tone. So I'm going to use a really nice brown here. And we're going to paint his eyes with white. Next, I'm going to line his eyes with a dark brown. I'm also going to use the same brown for his eyebrows. Now we're going to paint his eyes a golden brown. Add in the black pupils. And dot it with white. Now we're going to paint in his teeth with white and give him a smile. We're going to paint his hair a dark brown. And we're going to paint his hat dark red. And last of all, we're going to paint in his glasses. Next, we're going to cover the paint first with a layer of white. For his body, I'm going to start by painting his arms a flesh tone. And we're going to paint his shirt a navy blue. We're going to paint his jeans a dark blue.
And on top of the white shoes, we're going to paint red stripes and add some details to it. Now we're going to draw the design on his shirt. We're going to draw a white circle. And down here on the bottom, we're going to paint half the circle with blue. And with black, we're going to paint the upper side of the circle and add three black lines and a dot in the middle. Alright everyone, so here is my Nino. He is complete. What do you guys think? So here is a 360 of him and a close-up of his face. I think he looks pretty good with his glasses on. I made him a pair of headphones, so there it is hanging around his neck. It's just two pieces of clay and um, some uh, zip tie, <laughs> those cable ties. And um, so here is his shirt. So his shirt has a pretty cool design. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's a little circle with uh, lines on top. And he also wears these um, colorful bracelets. Down here is his shoes. So I didn't give him as many details on his shoes as uh, in the show, but I did give him a few red lines on his shoes. Alright, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Nino. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making a Miraculous Ladybug custom. We're going to be taking Flash Sentry here and turning him into the Evil Illustrator from the Miraculous Ladybug. So the Evil Illustrator is a pretty cool villain, so let's get started. So we're going to keep Flash Sentry's body, but we're going to be using Rainbow Dash's head. And this is because her hair is a lot more similar to the Evil Illustrator's. We're going to start by removing her side bangs on both sides of her face. And then we're going to cut her hair short. Then taking some air dry clay, we're going to fill in the gap in her head. Then with a few strips of clay, we're going to add some hair back in. Taking a round piece of clay and flattening it, we're going to be making the Evil Illustrator's hat. Alright, with all the clay work done, we're now ready to paint his face. We're going to paint it a light purple shade. I've drawn in his mask already, so we're just going to paint around the mask area. Once the skin tone is in, we're going to reshape the eyes with some white. And then paint in the rest of his mask. With the mask done, we're going to work on the eyes. We're going to make his eyes blue. Then add the black. And dot it with the white. Now we're ready for the hair. So the evil illustrator's hair is orange. We're going to start by painting his hair orange all over. Then we're going to come back in and darken the tips with a dark reddish orange. Right. 
Now we're going to paint his hat black. For the body, I'm going to first paint a coat of white over it first. Then we're going to paint his top shirt white. For his bottom, we're going to start by painting his shoes red. Then I'm going to paint in some black and blend the two colors together so it's going to be a reddish black. And then we're going to come back in and add some orange on top of the red. And then we're going to blend all three colors together. Now that we have the gradient that we want on the lower portion of his legs, we're going to paint the black on the upper part of his legs. Now we're ready to put in the designs on his shirt. We're going to start with a black circle. And then draw in the black line. So we need to make all these lines connect from the sides to the back. And also down his arms. And finally, as a final touch, we're going to add the three primary colors on his chest. Alright everyone, so here is my completed evil illustrator. Look at him. I really love the way his mask turned out. So he has a purple face with a black mask on. And it looks really cool against his kind of orange, reddish orange hair. The other part that I really like about him is his outfit. He has one of the coolest outfits, I think, um, of all the villains. It is. He has this really cool shirt with the, um, the the buttons on there, or rather the lights maybe. And these lines are really cool. And then he has a very contrasting white shirt with the dark bottoms. And his bottoms are kind of a blended um, black to reddish orange gradient. I'm glad I mixed the red in with the orange. I think if it was too orange, it would just kind of match his hair and I wouldn't look as good. But since this is more red than orange and his hair is more orange than red, it looks a little bit better. So he also has his tablet here. He is making some music for his date with Marinette, which I think is kind of sweet of him, right? He is just a, a boy in love and just wants to be with Marinette. What's wrong with that, right? <laughs> So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my evil illustrator from Miraculous Ladybug. And if you guys like my customs from Miraculous Ladybug, I have a whole lot for you to check out. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're going to be making a Miraculous Ladybug custom. We're going to be making Nathaniel. So Nathaniel is Marinette's classmate. He is an artist and he loves to draw. So when he gets akumatized, he actually turns into Evil Illustrator and becomes a really powerful villain. So I made a custom of the Evil Illustrator a while back. So if you're new to this channel and have not seen it, make sure to go and check it out. But I really like him as a regular person too. So let's get started. So we're going to start by taking off his hair. So I'm going to take off this front portion here and cut off most of the back portion. I'm going to leave the very bottom um, the way it is because I really like the way it looks and I don't think I can make it using air dry clay. So this time, since Flash Sentry has a regular 
human flesh tone, I'm not going to paint his face. So what I'm going to do is use some acetone here. So this is nail polish remover and I'm just going to wipe off his face. <laughs> so here it goes. I'm going to make sure everything comes off. With a large piece of air dry clay, I'm going to patch up the back of his head. And bring it up to the front and trim it off. Then using pieces of clay, I'm going to start building his bangs. So his bangs kind of fall over his face. So I'm going to use little pieces and kind of layer them on top of each other and kind of bring them down over his eyes a little bit. Also over his other eye a little bit. Here we go. Alright, so now we're ready to paint the face. We're going to paint the eyes with white first. Then I'm going to line it with brown on the upper lids. Now we're going to give him his bright blue eyes. Black pupils. Dot his eyes. Brown eyebrows up here and just a tiny bit on the right side since his hair is blocking. Next for his hair, I'm going to paint it a reddish orange. Now for his body, we're going to start by painting his orange shirt. Then we're going to add a dark gray jacket. And finally, dark purple pants. Now I'm going to go back to his shirt and add his cool little t-shirt design. Alright, so here is my Nathaniel from Miraculous Ladybug. What do you guys think? <laughs> I really like the way his hair turned out. I had uh, four pieces up here kind of layered on and they kind of fall over his face just like the Nathaniel in the show. And I made it a little bit more reddish orange uh, rather than a uh, red color just so that it looks uh, more real. And um, I really like his outfit actually. I wasn't quite sure about the purple pants but the purple actually went pretty well with the orange and gray. So here is a close up of his face. And again, I didn't paint his face this time, at least not the uh, flesh tone part. I only painted his eyes and the eyebrows. So the acetone worked out pretty well and his, um, his skin looks pretty natural. I think one thing I could have done is to paint his face first before adding the hair. So next time I think I will do that. So here is the Evil Illustrator who is the akumatized version of Nathaniel. And I use Rainbow Dash for this one. And they actually don't look alike at all. <laughs> so they have the same body. This is uh, Flash Sentry's body. So they both have kind of the same uh, body type. 
but the face is a totally different color and the hair is totally different too. But I think both of them look pretty cool. So which one do you like better? Do you like Nathaniel or do you like his akumatized form? Let me know down below in the comment section. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!